Hi, this is Tom Jay here for another installment of the King of Craft Beer Reviews. Today we have Terrapins Liquid Bliss Peanut Butter Chocolate Porter. Terrapin Brewery is out of Athens, Georgia. This should be pretty interesting. Never tried a peanut butter chocolate porter before. First time for everything. So, the uh, beer advocate has this beer placed at 85, which is very good. And Rate Beer has this at 94 overall and 96 in the style, which is which is excellent. So, we're uh, we're gonna get this beer open. I'm gonna crack it. And we're gonna get it into a glass. My trusty Duval glass here. There we go. Looks fairly dark. I expect that from a porter. The ABV on this beer is 6.1% and the IBUs are 23. So it's not a huge beer, but it's not tiny either. Okay, this pours out. Two finger head, a nice tan head, uh, small bubbles, a little rocky at the top. It's got nice carbonation clinging to the side of the glass. Um, let's get it up to the light. Uh, with this type of a glass, I don't see anything. It looks, it looks, uh, it's it's opaque, opaque black. It's can't see through it. Nope, cannot see through this beer. Looks great in a glass, but definitely uh, cannot see through it. Okay, let's get a nose on this. This is, is going to be interesting here. Hmm. Peanuts. Big time peanuts. Chocolate. Chocolate malt, roasted malt. Maybe a little bit of caramel. But overwhelmingly, peanuts. Yep. Very, very strong aroma of peanuts. It almost smells to me. It, it, it says uh, it says peanut butter here, but it doesn't really smell like peanut butter. It actually smells like roasted peanuts. It smells kind of like uh, I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to go to a carnival, and uh, the vendor would be selling the hot roasted peanuts right out of the vending cart, and they would give you a little bag of them, hot and roasted. That's what it smells like. Really, really genuine peanuts. Okay. Cheers. Wow. That's pretty good. Right up front, you're getting peanut taste. You're getting roasted peanuts in a good way. Very interesting. Roasted peanuts. I'm getting um, nice chocolate roasted malts. Getting that up front roasted malts. It's not too sweet. Not a very, very sweet. It's a little tiny bit of sweetness, but it's not one of those real sweet uh, porters. It's it's pretty much like a traditional porter with the... Uh, with the um, additions of the chocolate and the peanut butter. Some of the chocolate is coming through. It's not as pronounced as the uh, as the peanuts, but it is there. A little bit of vanilla. Vanilla, little little caramel. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. 
Very interesting. Very interesting. Sometimes I like to try these different beers, these little spin-offs. Um, you know, some people would think that this wouldn't taste good in a beer. I happen to disagree. I think that chocolate and peanut butter are the two best combinations uh, you know, going. You know, just look at a Reese's peanut butter cup, and that'll tell you right there. But uh, yeah, it goes well. It goes well together in this beer. It's uh, it's combined nicely. It flows together. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mouthfeel is medium light. It's not a it's not a very heavy beer. It's 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 pretty uh it's not real thin, but it's it's a bit on the thin side. Which okay, for a porter, yeah. Stouts, no. Stouts uh, tend to be thicker and that's the style of beer stout is it should be thicker, but porters tend to be a thinner a thinner beer and uh that's what this is. It's pretty true to that uh aspect of it. It has a, the porter mouthfeel. It's very smooth. Very smooth going down. Carbonation is at a is is not much, not too much carbonation. It's at a low. All in all, very good. Um, I'm gonna let this uh, warm up a little bit. I'm gonna let it rest in the glass, and I'm gonna try to get some more, get some more uh, aromas and tastes out of this. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Hi, this is Tom J back for the King of Craft Beer Reviews. Okay, we're going to continue on with our review of the Terrapin um, Liquid Bliss. That's the chocolate peanut butter uh, porter. All right, so I let it, uh, I let the uh, beer warm up a little bit in the glass. I had enjoyed a little bit more, and I have to tell you, uh, <clears throat> as it uh, got warmer, the uh, the flavors became more balanced. <laughs> Before it was a little bit cold. I wasn't getting as much as the cho of the chocolate as I was as the peanut butter. But uh, as it got warmer, it's kind of 50/50. Now you're having you're having your 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 peanut butter and, and the chocolate and the chocolate really came out nicely, and it all blends nicely with the uh, with the roasted with the dark roasted malts that they used in this beer. Uh, it's actually very very good beer. I like it. I like it. Yes, I do. For a, uh, I usually don't like too many beers with uh, additions to them. It's not, you know, it's not really my thing. But this particular, I, I shouldn't say that. I do like, uh, I do like coffee stouts and coffee porters. And I do like a little bit of vanilla. Uh, I really don't like fruit. I don't like fruit additions to to beer. But uh, some of these spices and things like that, I do like. Anyway. Um, yeah, this beer is, is real good. It, uh, it came together very well. Um, I would suggest this Terrapin Liquid Bliss. It's a very decent porter. You know, you like I said before, you, some people would may, may not like that you know combination, but you should try it. It goes together very well with the porter. It's it, it's actually it's actually very good. Okay, so I'm gonna be giving this. Uh, a rating now um yeah it, it, now when I say when I say I really like it I do really like it it's not it's not like stellar blowing my socks off it's good it's a solid porter it's a solid porter is it gonna get like a you know a 100 out of 100 for me no it's not gonna get that uh, it would have to go a, a bit further to get that from me but I will, it's, I guess for what it is, um, I'll, I'll give this beer a 90 out of 100. I'll give it a 90. Yeah, it, it deserves a 90. It's a very good beer. It's a very good beer, bordering on an excellent beer. So yeah, we'll give it a 90 out of 100. So uh, yeah. All right, I'm done for today. Uh, Leave your comments in the comment uh, box if, you, if you'd like. Um, I always like to hear from people. And uh, so this is Tom J with the King of Craft Beer Reviews signing off until next time. And remember, as always, uh, drink responsibly.